Okay, so you're going to want to download this uh, updated version of the JK Save Manager. If you have custom firmware, you can just download the CIA and you're pretty much good to go from here. If not, if you're using Homebrew, then you're going to grab the uh, 3DSX or three, yeah, 3DSX file, the um, Homebrew one. But if you're using Homebrew, you're also going to need to get the uh, the uh, official release here, and you're going to need the uh, 3DS folder from in there. Let me just click it real quick so I can show you exactly what you need. You're going to need the this one in here inside the 3DS folder because you need like these extra files right here I believe so just replace this 3DSX with the uh, one from here from the cleanup branch and then you're also going to need this custom memory map XML downloader it's uh you need these XML files for any seed encryption games which Sun and Moon are if you have cart you might not need this, but if if you try to load Sun and Moon with the uh, with the 3DXX 3DSX file, and it um just goes to a red screen, then you're gonna have to get this because this this is what fixes that red screen error when you're trying to boot the uh, Save Manager with Sun selected. Okay, so if you have custom firmware, all you need to do is install the CIA from the uh, cleanup branch, uh, run it, and then go down to refresh games, and it will uh, rescan all your installed games, and then go up to uh, SD slash CIA, and then it will show the uh, games that it found on your card when it was scanning them and you can go down to a uh, moon and then here you can either export save data or extra data so you can export the save data there it might ask you to name the folder it exports to I already have one there so I didn't have to uh, name it uh, you go to uh, export extra data and then name it and then it will say okay and that's it if you don't have uh, custom firmware but you do have homebrew what you're going to need to do is first uh, run the custom mmap xml downloader and when you boot that up for the first time on the top screen it says press a to download all missing XMLs and then B to download all of them. So just press A to download the missing one. Since if this is the first time you're running it, it will basically download all of them. It does take a little bit to do this, but it shouldn't take longer than uh, five minutes. So just let this run. It'll take a while, and when it's finally finished, it will say done. Press any key to continue. Just press uh, start. It'll go back to the uh, download menu here just press start again to exit so now that you have the XMLs you go down to uh, JK save manager and then once you try to run that you gotta go and select the target game which is either sun or moon and then when you start that up if you have the XML files it will get past the red screen there and it will show either uh, export save and then export X data so it's from here it's pretty much the same as if you had the CIA but it's like it's locked onto only this game so you export the save data the same way and then you gotta go down to export X data and then that's exported the same way as well and then once you have those exported just go down to exit and exit If your Citra uh, build does not come with the home folder, you can download it here. Um, I think this I got this one from the uh, from like the Chinese builds that were going around for a while before the Bleeding Edge build came out. You can also dump these files from your system 
but I don't really want to get into that. So this is the one that was from the Chinese build. So just take these files, go into your Citra folder, go to user, and then just copy these into here and overwrite all files and folders. But I'm not doing that because the ones in mine are actually from my system. Okay, so now that we have the uh, home folder uh, installed, you're going to want to run the game for the first time if you have it already to uh, make sure all the folder directories are created. Or once you ran it, then just stop it. And then you can uh, have all the directories created properly. Okay, so you're going to go into the SD card on the computer and go to JKSV. Then you're going to go into saves, either Pokemon Sun or Moon. And then the uh, name that you named it. I think the uh, default would be like the date, but I just named it after my name. And then you have your main save here. So on Citra folder, you're going to go into user. SDMC, Nintendo 3DS, all these zeros, all these zeros, title, the uh, four, is that 40,000 something? And then if you moon, if you're using moon, it would be this one, 175E00. And if you're using sun, it would be this one down here, 1648. So since I'm using moon, it's going to be here. Then you go into data, one, and there's the main. So just copy that over and replace. And now let's back out a bit to X data. And on the SD card, you want to go to X data, Pokemon Moon, the uh, folder you named it. And then this is the uh, extra data. And this is the battle videos in here in the BT video folder. So we're gonna go to X data zero um, one six four eight for sun and moon uh, user, and then here's the videos here. You can just just copy it all over and replace and merge all files and folders, and you're done. Okay, so now that we imported our save and our battle videos, let's just see if they are showing up correctly. So we're going to open open the game, and our file is showing up here. Now let's go into the uh, end game and check battle videos. And they are showing up here as well. So here I have a program that I use to resize the window perfectly. I'm going to type in 1200 by 720. But you need to account for the border. And for this uh, theme, like the default Windows 7 theme, you're going to need to add 16 to the width. And you're going to need to add 59 to the height. And then when you click resize, it resizes. But we also need to set layout to single screen. So that's just the top screen. Let's uh, refresh those uh, trainer textures there. Okay, so you see in the top corner it's running at around a hundred and so frames per second it's always fluctuating even in battle especially in battle it fluctuates like crazy it can go from over 100 percent speed all the way down to like half speed and and if you try to record that and it goes from faster than full all the way down to lagging all the way back up it just fluctuates all the time and if you try to speed up your video to hide the lag then the normal speed parts will be speeding up way too fast so to do uh, to uh, get around that I like to slow the slow the emulator down to even slower than what it plays at like in the, the biggest lag spikes I always set it to even lower than that 
So for uh, my system right here, it's a Core i3 6100. It's a basically like the first, the, the lowest tier i3 for uh, under the Skylake uh, architecture. It has pretty good single core um, speed, and Citra only really uses only one core, so I get pretty good speed for this emulator. So I'll, when I slow it down. I slow it down to 30 frames per second. Now, I personally use Fraps as a lock frame rate while recording. So when I record with Fraps, it drops it down to 30, and the emulator is actually playing at half speed. It's not just cutting out every other frame, it's actually pausing the emulator for like half a frame or whatever it you know whatever it does to slow it down it's doing that somehow and that's how I use a record I do get some little spikes that drop below 30 once in a while but it's not a big deal it's not really noticeable and if you want a free alternative I'm pretty sure the this Reva tuner can do it 